Eighth race, racing one mile, purse $5,000. A field of eight, no changes. Eight minutes until post time. Number one is Hoosier Wiz. Over the Point Creek Stable of Boynton Beach, Florida, Ron Potter trains, Dave Hawk drives. The two are last chef. Held by Patricia and Brian Meridian of Pennsylvania, Gary Martin training for Jeff out. Number three, I'm Ross. Sold by Philip Kavanaugh, Upper Sandusky, Brian Brown, the trainer, Brad Hanners drives. Four is Regent Street, owned by John Izzo of Columbus, Todd Christie, the trainer, Eric Ludford, the driver. Five, let the big horse roll. Home by the ace, some pace, some stables. Virgil Morgan, Jeff Rector, and Al Vest Incorporated. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains. Randy Tharps drives. The six is nearly certain. Home by Philip Chellis of Ohio. Lenny Merriman, the trainer driver. Seven, Chip and Mindale. Owned by David Ehrenberg of Grove City. Richard Neff trains. Charlie Neff drives. And number eight, Light Source, sold by Wico Investments. Tony Clyer of Kentucky, Wilson Witten trains Mike Wilder in the sulky. Win place show perfect a trifecta wagering. Seven minutes now, only seven minutes until post. Eighth race, condition to claiming pacers, lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And to the rough. And first away, I'm Ross. From the inside and alongside there goes Regent Street and Regent Street will outstep I'm Ross for the lead. From off the pylons comes Hoosier Wiz. Then there's an early gap of five lengths to our last chef who's fourth at the middle and fifth. Let the big horse roll. Coming away sixth was nearly certain that it's a gap of three lengths to Chip and Mindale. Light Source is the early trailer. They reached the first quarter mile marker and the opening panel was paced in a, a lively 26 and four. And on the front now, it's Regent Street who has taken the lead from I'm Ross. Who's your wizard? The inside is racing at third. And at the rail, our last chef now closing steadily fourth. Fifth on the outside. Let the big horse roll looking to take cover. Nearly certain is right there to the outer flow. And saving ground alertly is Chip and Mendale as he'll shoot up the rail. Light source continues to trail, but is only six lengths off the front. They're at the half, 57 seconds. And Ludford has slowed the pace here with Regent Street. They'll get a nice breather there in the second quarter. Out of the outside now comes Hoosier Wiz as he'll pressure the pace. At the rail line, Ross is racing third. Out of the outside, our last chef has taken a lot of air thus far. He's racing fourth. And Chip and Mendale continues to advance on the inside. He's now fifth. Out of the outside, racing is sixth. As they approach the three quarters, let the big horse roll. They're at the three quarters, 125 and two. And on the front, Regent Street has led since the quarter, and he still leads here a length and a half. Who's your wizard? The outside is racing second, and I'm Ross. A 10 to 1 shot is right there within striking distance. Last Saturday, eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come, and on the front, it's still Regent Street. I'm Ross, the closest to challenge. Down to the inside comes Chip and Mindale into deep stretch. Regent Street by ahead. Over I'm Ross, and it's a three way photo for show. Time of the mile, 1, 54 and 3. Eighth race now official. Here's the winner, number four, Regent Street. Regent Street, a five-year-old son of Abercrombie from the attic from the Meadow Skipper Mare at Akane, owned by John Izzo of Columbus, Tom Christie trains Eric Lenford in the Sonke. Fourth win of the season for Regent Street. Tonight's mile, 154, three-fifths. The $2 Perfecta for three, paying $124.40, 124.45. No changes in the upcoming ninth race. Win play show perfect.